meetings with area business owners and members of the public. The town hall meeting is set to begin tomorrow evening at 530. You can attend over at the EBR Parish Library. The Army Corps of Engineers will open up the Bonnie Carey Spillway tomorrow. Heavy rains in the Mississippi and Ohio River Valleys have contributed to high, fast-moving water on the river. Some of that water will flow into Lake Pontchartrain, and tomorrow's opening will mark only the second time the Bonnie Carey Spillway has been used in consecutive years. Now let's check in with Fox 44 meteorologist Danielle Giuliano with a closer look at tonight's storms coming our way. Yeah, that's right, Chad. Take a look at our radar right now. Most of the storms still off to our west in areas like passing through just south of Lake Charles across I-10, moving through Lafayette, but heading towards Baton Rouge right now. Taking a closer look at this, check out all the lightning strikes associated with this. And again, you see those areas in pockets of pink indicating some of the heavy rainfall there associated with these stronger storms. And they are moving in on our doorstep here. You should see they're moving into Point Capi. They're starting to feel some rumbles of thunder right now, heading into Iberville, creeping up close on West Baton Rouge this evening, but again, this is just the leading line of the storm. We still have more weather and more rain pushed further off to our west. And of course, a lot of those coastal locations really packing the punch this evening. We're going to watch them as they continue to push further off to the east towards Baton Rouge. But again, along I-10 right now in between Baton Rouge and Lafayette, it's heading our way. And again, we're going to keep you updated as these storms make their way through. They do have the potential to be a little on the stronger to severe side. That's exactly why we are under a marginal risk for severe weather tonight. Night. So what that means, timing anywhere between 10, 30, 11 until 2 a.m. Strong storms possible, marginal risk. We're looking at 60 mile per hour winds, quarter size hail. We can't rule out a tornado, but again, our biggest concern tonight will be the heavy rainfall, lightning, and again, we have that chance for the hail. So it moves on through. This is 1230 overnight tonight, and again, you see those heavy pockets of sh showers and thunderstorms pushing through mainly south of the I-10-12 corridor. They make their way through. This is 2.30 a.m. on your Wednesday, still closer to Hammond and Slidell. There are Baton Rouge, a few pockets, but it's continuing to push off to our east, and it's going to continue to do that overnight. We'll see a lull in activity through the early morning hours for your Wednesday, and then the showers move back in Wednesday evening. This is 5 p.m. tomorrow. You start to see those showers and storms make their way through. Some heavy pockets of isolated thunderstorms as well. We're heading into a rainy forecast. It's all not only going to follow us for a Wednesday, it's also going to follow us for a Thursday and even into our Friday. The storms continuing to push their way through. We have a frontal system that's set up in the Gulf. It's going to push north as a warm front, and then this weekend it's going to push on out as a cold front. So we're going to see a lot of rain, and that's why in totals here, most of the heavy rainfall in the next one to three days here total wise, they're going to see anything from two inches of rainfall. Again, those heaviest amounts stay in coastal locations. Who you hear in Baton Rouge North get a little less, but we're still anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half of rainfall. And again, locally in those thunderstorms, you could see higher amounts. So just stay weather aware and watch for localized flash flooding. River levels as well. We talked about them opening up the spillway there. They're at 39.74 feet here, the Mississippi River, and by tomorrow expected to reach major flood stage. And that's exactly why they're opening up those spillways. We'll continue to watch the Mississippi River as we head throughout this week and see all that rain still up in the Ohio and Mississippi Valley. So overcast skies, storms still off to our west. Temperature 61 degrees, feels like 61. Winds are calm this evening, but again, you're going to be going to bed if you're not already in bed. Some rumbles of thunder tonight. We're dealing with daily rain chances here for the next seven day stretch, guys. Midweek warm up, that warm front's going to push north. It's going to bring in that moisture and rise us up into the 70s. And a week, weekend cold front's going to cool us back down. Temperatures in the 70s warming up, like I said, 77 by Friday, Saturday, 78 degrees. Cold front comes through, drops our temperatures 63, 49, and then 53. And here's a look at your skeeter meter, what you can really expect. The rain increases Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. So again, we start to see a population for mosquitoes increase as well. So again, just pay attention to that. If you're spending time outside, make sure that you raise some of that bug spray. You can also catch us on the radio. We partnered up with iHeartRadio of Baton Rouge. So a lot of things going on weather wise, guys. But the big thing we want to take note of is the storms that we have the chance mm. for tonight. And they're going to be making their way through. You're going to hear those wind gusts making their way through at the front line of the storms already moving in on Point Capete, Iberville, and West Baton Rouge Parish. All right, you know, just be prepared. And if you venture out, be careful be tonight. Be very careful. All right, Danielle, thank you. Still